some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to the police department in Cape Coral, Florida, with the frauditor known as Los of Crum, where he meets an officer who quite literally has his number. And, well, he's too stupid to take it out of the video, so I did it for him. Yeah, that's right. The officer doxed him on his own video, and he's just too stupid to understand that that actually happened. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S-show on the road, shall we? Oh, man. They are doing it. This is Los of Crumb as he is being escorted away from a hurricane relief center a couple of years ago. He had nothing to contribute over there and, well, was considered nothing more than a gibbering idiot that had to be removed. And, well, he had a lot to say about it, but none of it made any sense. There you are. Cool. Hello, Mr. Whoa. Hello, yeah. Mr. Kenneth Clark Fox. How are you? Where's your best hang on? Unchanted of the Silverly. Mm -hmm. See what I mean whenever he was dragged away the last time from that uh, hurricane relief center that he was a gibbering idiot? Yeah, I don't know exactly what he's saying right here, but maybe he'll clarify it for us. Have it open anyway. You guys should open it up. Hey, Kenneth, they're providing personal information. No, they're not. Okay. No, they're not. They're they're not consenting to this. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you very nicely. No, you're not. No, they're not. To back away. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am, but uh, you're talking to Losef Crumb here. He is on the, uh, well, lower end of the IQ spectrum when it comes to the frauditing community. And that's really saying something given the collective brain power between all those morons. But at any rate, this guy probably couldn't comprehend what uh, they're saying anyway or what you're saying. Unless you want me to provide your social media, your personal information, Kenneth... Clark Hawks. Provide what? Okay. So I'm gonna provide it to them. Yeah, they're providing me personal information. Well, you didn't finish your sentence. You're gonna provide my social. Kenneth yet. Clark Hawks, the second date of birth, ten twenty, Sir Losa Crum. I can yeah. go into a lot more. Okay. Yeah. They're providing me personal information. So you're gonna provide it to who? They're providing it to me. But who you're gonna provide my stuff to? I'm providing it to your social media. Well, your brain must be lacking a great deal of processing power at this point if you can't figure out that she just owned you on this particular uh, event right here, that she exposed your personal information and you failed to do anything about it on the video, such as editing it out. Oh, uh, yeah, you're definitely on the lower end of the IQ spectrum for that. Yeah. They're providing oh. their personal information. Oh, you should put it on a comment. Go on a comment. Yeah, you're the only comedy is you. So. No, on a comment. On a comment. Yeah. On a comment. You should get on my YouTube and do a comment. Yeah. Not, I'm not, yeah. I'm going to put this on because I'm going to do a lot of background. Yeah, okay. I'm asking hey, um, you. Hey, did you see. Um, yeah. Like, um, you're not giving me any orders, right? Hey, they're, they're dyeing their hair black. A lot of the. But you got the natural. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, that's a thing. They all want it. 
you know, I mean, all the girls in the car wash. It... And to think, this guy lives in Florida, and he is actually able to drive. Luckily, I live nowhere near this moron. But I do have sympathy for those who live in Cape Coral, because, you know, this guy's reaction time would have to be rather pitiful because of the uh, processing power that's up in his skull. So you go to these things and... Wait a minute. Seriously, they don't want to be Obviously. like her. It's a new thing, Kate Carl. I'm kidding. Because actually what happened is you guys were sitting here, and if I wasn't here, you wouldn't have showed up, because I know about it. I you had know? to take mine out. I gave it to him. Yeah, you guys wouldn't, she wouldn't be here if I wasn't here. Yeah, she knows it. She's like, I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, on that thing. She was coming on to me too, man. She was coming on to me on the video. I got it good. It's like, she got me going too. She's good, man. She's the only one. You're the only one. Wow, dumb and quite delusional too. I don't see this officer having anything to do with you whatsoever in that particular way. In fact, uh, she'd probably be more likely to uh, run the other way should you ask her out. Or she would be in such a disgust of the thought of you two being together that she would vomit on you and then run away scared at the very thought of that action. I get the, uh, that actually got to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, look it up. It's um, no, I don't. Apocalypse Now, Cape Coral Apocalypse Now. That's why I'm trying to get him. Sir, I'm going to ask you nicely. I will not divulge personal information. I am asking you to step away, please. Yeah, we don't get that big. Yeah, no. So you're a cop or something? I am not going on. Are you police? Yeah. Alright, what are you, police? I'm asking you very nicely. Yeah, that's good. Back off. Sorry, officer, but you should realize by now that who you're dealing with is not exactly a typical, uh, well, human. Uh, this guy is a frauditor and a frauditor, well, who is not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer. Nope, that knife dulled when it was first created. And, well, it just hasn't gotten sharpened yet and probably never will be sharpened. Please. 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 There... Providing yeah. information for a crime. Oh, uh, they are? You guys should go indoors. You should open up the police station. I don't know, man. Look like they're doing some crime on you. They're letting you, uh... Dang, man. Damn, girl. They're lying. Get these videos, David. Well, that's the end of the video, folks, but I got a question. Who let this gibbering mental patient out of the hospital? Because they should be, well, at the very least coached, if not outright terminated. Because it's not just the safety of everybody uh, around him, it's his own personal safety that's the matter. Because this guy just doesn't seem to have the brain capacity to figure out that he got owned in this video. And, uh... He failed to edit it out because, you know, all the other frauditors would have a uh, hissy fit if they got doxxed on their own video. And you would hear about it for a long time, but not from this idiot. And that is definitely a sign of his own incompetence right there. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?